All right, so I've been using the August Wi-Fi smart lock for about a year now, and here are my thoughts. So August Home is a company that makes smart home products, or really smart door products. Namely, three locks, I think the smart lock, the smart Wi-Fi lock, which I'm gonna be reviewing today, and the smart lock pro. They also make uh, door handles, they make a Wi-Fi bridge and a smart keypad as well. But this is the August smart Wi-Fi lock fourth generation and let's talk about it. But before that, isn't that just kind of funny that the company's name is August, we got the product last August and I'm reviewing the product this August. So let's start off with the design. And while it is kind of big, it isn't really that big when you put it in comparison to the Smart Lock Pro, which is gigantic in comparison. And August does list it as a compact lock on their website. The lock is also circular and it's almost like a bezel lock if you think about it. It's also got a top plate that pops off when you press the logo and it's magnetic and underneath it you've got your battery. So overall the build does feel very premium. All the components are mostly metal, at least the ones that you interact with. So moving on to batteries, the battery life has been fairly inconsistent. In the first month that we had the smart lock, we already had to change the batteries once. And then after that, you know, sometimes you could go two months without it. it. I guess it really just depends on your usage of the lock. Obviously, if you are operating it from a device a lot more, then that will definitely eat into the battery life. But I'd say that on average, you'd have to replace the batteries once every three weeks to two months. But let's move on to the features, which are really the highlight of this lock and probably why you're paying north of 200 US dollars to get this. And mainly that is the smart features. So first off, you can operate this entirely from your phone. Oh. One moment. Yeah, there we are. But yeah, basically you can lock and unlock your home from virtually anywhere. A couple times when I did forget to lock the door when I left the home, I could just pull out my phone, I could check if the door was locked to begin with, and then I could just tap it and lock the door. It also does switch the connection between Wi-Fi and Bluetooth depending on the speed and the range. So if you are further from the lock, obviously you are going to be using Wi-Fi or cellular data, but if you are closer, it'll choose between Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, whichever is the faster of the two, and use that to unlock your door. So that does mean that if you don't have data on your phone, you can still lock and unlock your door as long as you're within the range of it. You can also set up auto lock and auto unlock. I guess that this is a useful feature, like if you're carrying groceries or something and you don't wanna have to put everything down to fumble around for your keys and unlock the door or your phone, you can just set up auto unlock and it'll unlock the door as you come near and you know, just use your elbow to open that door. Or it, for auto lock, when you're leaving the house, you don't have to go through the hassle of pulling your phone out, locking the door and then going, you can just go. This is also a very useful feature if there's a snowstorm or a thunderstorm going on outside and when you get to the door, rather than, again, fumbling around for your phone with your wet hands and your gloves, it just unlocks and you can walk safely inside. Another cool feature is that you can send virtual keys to guests. Now, I'm not entirely sure as to when that would be useful. Anyways, you can do all of this within the August Home app, which is completely free to download on both iOS and Android. And in that app, you can also set up the August lock and create a profile. Everything can be done from there. Now, this Wi-Fi smart lock is also compatible with Google Home, Amazon Alexa, and Apple HomeKit. I do have it connected to Google Home and Amazon Alexa, but I don't have it connected to HomeKit since it was a huge hassle. I, I tried to, but it just never worked. And personally, I feel like HomeKit is the worst of the three since, I mean, I have a Google Nest Wi-Fi point. I don't have a HomePod anywhere, so there's not really a point for that. However, once you do connect it to one of these smart home apps or whatever, you can operate them through their respective smart speakers, like, you know, hey Google, lock the front door or something like that. I haven't really done that because Sorry, I don't understand. The mic's off. Moving on. I don't really do that because uh 
I haven't really found a use case for it. I did have it connected to Alexa and I used to, you know, sometimes voice the commands from there. But then when you do ask to unlock it, you have to verify via a voice pin. Alexa, unlock front door. What's your voice code for front door? And, you know, rather than doing that, I just pull out my phone with face ID and then just operate the lock from there. But if you want to operate it from a smart speaker or something, then that option is available for you. With the smart lock comes this tiny little white thing. Uh, let me reword that. So this sort of small white device comes with your August Wi-Fi smart lock and it is called DoorSense. And it does exactly what it's called. It senses your door and you can set this up. You can either like drill it into your door frame or you can just stick it on there with the adhesive. I seriously can't think of a single use case where you would want to drill it into your door frame, but if you want to, then sure you can. I don't know how exactly it works because it's so light. It doesn't look like it has a battery in it. It's made of plastic, but basically you can set it up within the app to tell you when the door is open or closed. Now, finally, I wanna move on to a couple issues that I have noticed, mainly one, and that is repeated locking. So basically what's happened is sometimes it won't think that it's locked. Like the door will lock, but then the, the lock thinks that oh wait, I didn't lock, and then it sort of half unlocks, and then locks again, and then you know makes the lock chime, and it does that, I think I've counted a streak of 30 times in a row, and it gets super, super annoying. Sometimes it just happens occasionally, but sometimes it can literally go on for forever. It's not a huge problem, however, when it does do that, and you try to unlock it through the app, it'll say that it needs some recalibration or something, and you literally cannot operate the lock whatsoever without recalibrating it. So if you don't have your keys on you and you go out and that happens, you're basically screwed. And on the topic of recalibration, sometimes it'll just randomly tell you that you need to recalibrate your lock for some reason, some problem has occurred. Sometimes it'll still, like if you just reload the app, sometimes it'll let you operate it again, but then sometimes it there really has been a problem, it's not a bug, and uh, you actually need to recalibrate your lock. But aside from these two issues, the lock experience has been, I'd say, fairly good. Now, this does come in at a pretty steep price of about 230 US dollars. From Amazon, I think it's about 330 Canadian dollars. So yeah, not exactly the cheapest thing. They do offer just a regular smart lock that comes with a Wi-Fi bridge, I believe. And there are also just traditional keypad locks. But for a very thorough smart lock experience, if you're into that, this is definitely a great buy. It's very premium, it integrates really well with a very well thought out app. You can take advantage of the smart home features and you just want all of that in a nice little package, then this is for you. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and that's pretty much it for me.